would say is I want to highlight that we really do try to be so much more than a journal. We try to create community around these topics and we try to facilitate conversations around these topics. So all these initiatives are really designed to build community, create community and facilitate conversation. Uh, our hope really is that every article in the journal isn't the end of the conversation. It really is the beginning of new kinds of conversations. And that's what our global scholar stories and our digital storytelling initiatives are really about. How can we create interfaces, opportunities, utilize uh, digital technologies that bring people closer together, authors closer to readers, readers closer to the authors, and our community closer to each other. People who are international educators in the field with researchers who are doing critical research in the field. And Oscar, who is a new doctoral student at Boston College, will be spearheading uh, an audio storytelling initiative that we're calling Global Scholar Stories. One of the things that you might, uh, one of the ways we're thinking about bringing authors closer to readers, in fact, if you recently got an acceptance, you discovered this. We're asking clearly to get conversation with you on social media what your what your uh, username is but another way that we're trying to do it is we're providing you a chance to provide written interview questions that help people know the backstory of an article have you ever read an article and wondered who is this researcher and why did they do this research these written interviews are going to provide our users when they visit your website they're not just going to see the final product of the research they're going to get to know that researcher in fact we're hoping that you can recommend other people for them to follow not the famous people who would show up on Google uh, a Google Scholar with the algorithm that's that's meant to predict already people with a lot of citations, but new scholars, emerging scholars, young scholars, new voices from the global south. We're going to be designing this as a part of the ways to facilitate conversation. So interviews with authors, if they would be interested in that. If they're not interested, of course, they don't need to participate. But we really want to bring our authors closer to the readers, readers closer to the authors, and the idea that we're really in a community together. Oscar will be leading this uh, audio podcast global scholar stories and I'm going to turn it over to her to tell you a little bit more about ways you might participate in this initiative. Thank you Dr. Glass and hi everyone my name is Aska. I will be the host and producer of Google Scholar Stories which will be a multimedia project and this year we're really happy to announce that we're launching a podcast and so basically well, we believe there's a story behind every scholar and we wanted to create this podcast as a way to connect personal stories with publications to make research more engaging and also to create a platform to elevate young scholars' voices. And for this, the podcast will consist of interviews with authors who published or will publish uh, their articles in GIS. And to support the personal and professional journey of young international scholars, we also plan to invite guests who are experienced scholars in the field and ask them to share their journeys as well uh, so that we can learn from the wisdom for mentorship type of conversations. And so for authentic storytelling and sharing, we really want to make this podcast a safe space for the authors and our guests to share their personal stories. And so we would really like our audience to embrace those values as well, uh, whether you're reading about them or commenting about them on social media. So really um, mutually embracing those values would be really great. So this is where you could get involved. So how can you get involved? So as uh, Dr. Glass mentioned, um, if you know that you're going to publish an article uh, with us, we will be sending out Google Forum where you can type in your information and we may reach out to authors who have already published with us and who may be interested in sharing their personal story. And so you will hear back from us as if we decide to feature your story. And so as an audience, uh, please follow us on social media that Sarah just shared, and we'll keep you posted about our monthly episodes. And it'll be great if you could, one, again, uh, support us to create a safe space for authentic personal storytelling. And it'll be great if you like the story, um, show that as a like or share our future episodes via your social media, LinkedIn, Facebook, what have you. And also if your story is being featured, um, we will share your handles and connect your story with our media so you can get more views as well. And down the road, uh, we will be happy to hear your feedback. And so please reach out to us um, and my address is there so you know where to contact. So yes, that's the gist of it. And so thank you so much.
Right. We're really fortunate to have Oscar, who uh, went to the, uh, who had some special training at Harvard University when she was a graduate student there, about using stories to translate research to practice, uh, and also the importance of stories and mentorship. I see people commenting in the chat box. Thanks for saying that, Gopal. I really appreciate that. One of the motivations about this is not simply providing, uh, uh, you know, a new type of uh, multimedia, but really engaging people in in forms of mentorship, uh, in new forms of mentorship.